Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. We've been going around the water prison world for the second time. And the last thing we did was find another Sword of Obedience, the third one. The one that we need to pin Andrew DeSalvo to the ground. And Andrew is in the basement. Let's go pay them a visit. Oh, wait a second. I don't think they're quite in the basement. They're on the pathway down to the basement. Looks like they're right next to us somewhere. Oh yeah, there you are. Hi. Okay. Let's put that on and... Uh... Oh, I wish I had my axe of despair. Use that med kit. Oh god, what the hell? You That's weird, I don't like it. It's also just kind of outright funny. Okay, I've actually taken a lot of damage. Uh, I'm gonna switch to my pistol. Oh right, I have a uh, a silver bullet for ghosts. I don't have it on me, but I just remembered that that's a thing. Hmm. Really not going well. TBH. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, I was super confused. I was looking at my amount of ammo and I thought this was an X. I'm like, wait, why is my ammo X? What the hell? And then I just realized it's just a kind of weird eight. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know if that means they're going to be more possessed or if they're just temporarily downed. Okay, uh, I'm just actually going to load. I need to come more prepared, I think. Okay. Here we go. Um, so this time I grabbed with me my Axe of Despair. I grabbed two... Um, nutrition drinks along with my health kit. And I also took and loaded the silver bullet, the one single silver bullet that I have into my pistol. Obviously it's very precious and I hope very effective too. This enemy, this, this ghost seems particularly hard. Hopefully I'm not wasting it by using it on them instead of Braintree, who I'm sure we're going to be fighting next. Because I assume they get harder as you go on, but I don't know. I'm going to use it here. Maybe we'll, but hopefully we'll find more silver bullets along the way. So, let's go. I'm gonna start with that. Oh, wow. Oh, that's very effective. One bullet and you can just stab him. Well then. Yeah, water prison generator room key, so they had the key to the basement door. I expected to like maybe halfway kill them or something. Not to just put them down. That is so powerful. Now oh, I super wonder if I should have kept it. 
It's fine. It's fine. All right, let's hack our way down there. Meet you back in the basement. Here we go. Bless you. Oh god. Uh... Okay, this room's different now. It was already a huge room, but now it's like four times as long. It just goes and goes and goes. And I think that's the massive, massive door in, all the way in the back. Also, it looks like there's an army of those two-headed baby pointing things in my way. Huh. If it was just me, it'd be pretty easy, just sprint. But with Eileen, I'm gonna have to sprint and then wait for Eileen to catch up. That's way too many for me to shoot. Shit. Okay. Oh, that's so weird! The huge door! It's like a perspective thing. The huge door is now just a small door. A normal door. What a weird hallway. That's really cool. Come on, Eileen. Eileen? I can't switch my view to see what the hell's going on. Uh, okay. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Maybe... Maybe I can deal with them. If I can time this AoE just right... Yeah... I'm gonna have to time it, like, really perfect. If they hit me, it's gonna interrupt the whole thing. Hold on, Eileen, I gotta kill these ones for good! No, it stood up! Yeah, I see, this thing's too freaking slow, I can't even get a hit off. Hmm. That was pretty damn effective, though. Let's try that again. Maybe I'll do that and then switch to the X? bad. Took a bit of damage, but it's fine. Don't go too fast. Yep, back to the bloody trail on the downward spiral. Next stop, apartment round two. dummy this must be what hell is like yeah I'm 
Should I go home? I don't think I really need to. that brain tree? Are they gonna be here right away? It's a diary. Is this new? I want to go back to that time. Things were so good then. The day of my birthday. The cute cat in the pet store. All those balls in the basket. Playing pool was fun too. The door of time was wide open. When I see four things, I can't help but remember that time. Four things. Remin reminisces? Reminisces. I guess that was written by Walter Sullivan, probably. Okay, where are we exactly? Have we been here before? This is the ape world. Hmm? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, there's... It, it's a complete waste to try to attack them right now. There's no point. I need the Sword of Obedience. God, why are they making such weird noises? Oh, there's a hole back there as well. It won't open. Oh. Three buttons lined up vertically. Oh yeah, back to this weird thing. The three vertical buttons that are aligned in text, non-vertically. I guess we're probably on the bottom, right? Oh, never mind. I remember this place. It looks a lot like downtown Ashfield. <gasps> Wait, can I? I can go both ways. What's the other way? Hmm, I remember this place. Um, let's, uh, let's go the other way first, actually. I vaguely remember this place. Wait, did Eileen not come with me? Oh, right, it's a ladder. What's this? What's a cue ball doing here anyway? Quite a coincidence that we'd find a cue ball right after reading that note talking about how they like to play pool. Billiard ball. It's white with no number on it, that means it's the cue ball. I have no idea where this is going to take me. Ugh. Okay, I don't want to leave Eileen behind, obviously. Lock is broken, so I can't do anything there. Oh, I just realized it shows me Eileen on the map, the red one. That's nice. So yeah, where is this going? Um, 
Hmm, it looks like it's going to loop around to here. Which you can get to th by coming out of the elevator doors. Um, hmm, maybe this is locked from the inside, so I need to go this way and then unlock it. I'm going to assume that and move forwards. And I'm going to ignore everything else. I'm just going to do that first because I want to reunite with Eileen before I check out all these side doors. But let's not run just in case there's doggies. I love this camera angle. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is bad. Cutscenes are not good. I'm going to see my mom. Stay out of my way. Who are you, anyway? My name's Walter. Walter Sullivan. It's time to complete the 21 sacraments. But that's my name. And what are the 21 sacraments? Don't worry. You'll know soon enough. Well, let's go and see Mother. Let me go! That hurts! We read that they were under the impression that their mother was the room itself. So when the older Walter says, let's go see mother. Do they mean the room? Are they going to my room? That could mean something else. I mean, there's like three mothers, to be honest. There's Walter Sullivan's mother, which they apparently believe is the room. There's the mother reborn, which I think is Eileen, because I'm the receiver of wisdom and they're the mother reborn, something like that. And then... I can't, I can't remember if the god demon thing that they're trying to birth or create. I can't remember if that's also called Mother, but I think it might be. Oh, the door I need is just right. Wait, this, this is a door? That's not a door. Why is it marked as a door on the map? Hmm. Okay. I'm not really sure what I should be doing. I can't leave Eileen behind. Hold on, I'm gonna go back. Oh, hi. Alright, so this is... yeah, this is the elevator. So, there's two elevators, actually. Yeah, there's these two elevators. Don't know if there's any difference when it comes to where they can go? Possibly. But from here, does this go anywhere? Like, again, this isn't really a door. Oh god, I can see the ghost over there. Is it coming? Ooh, what's that? Candle? Come on. Yes! Holy candle. Can you come through? I think they're trapped over there because that's like a different different instance, sort of. Good. Yeah, so there's no way there's no way for me to get Eileen out of this place. If I want to explore all of this, I just gotta go there on my own. I can't get them there. So maybe I should just go explore it on my own, or I should just go to a different floor? I don't know. Let's try going to a different floor. So I just went to the bottom. Maybe we were at the middle before? It's weird that there's two elevators. There's probably going to be some shenanigans you can do with that. Like, line them up so that you can walk on top of one of the elevators or something. Ooh, it says there's a hole over here. Oh. Well, 
Right, so this elevator can't get over there, but the other one can. Oh, wait, yeah, that is where we started. That's, yeah, that's where Braintree is. Let's not go there. Let's go to the top. How's this look? Looks like we can go out. Can also go out this way. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's check this out first. And it's interesting too. This one, this elevator, this exit doesn't link up with the other one next to it. It's not like one big hallway. It's totally separate. Careful, Eileen. Careful. Watch out, Eileen. We're a damn good team. Is this a door? <gasps> no. Oh, sort of obedience. Yes. I can't hold anymore. No. What do we have here? We have a revolver around, sort of obedience, and... Bless you. And a shovel. Is that a weapon? Or just an item for digging? Hmm. Shit, I don't know where the nearest hole is. Nowhere nearby, and I don't want to just use up, like, a bunch of medkits or anything. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back here. Sorry. Let's try going out the other way on the elevator. Just see where that leads, see if I can find a hole. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. I guess, I guess I should just go ahead and take care of Braintree, huh? Should I fight him up there on that kind of precarious position? I guess it doesn't matter. It's not like my character can fall. That actually might be kind of good for containing them to a place that I can easily whack them. Hmm. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? I didn't have room to pick up the sort of obedience. Okay, well... Um, hmm. I'll, I'll just drink that. That's fine. I'll drink one nutrition drink and go grab the sort of obedience. That's the wrong way. Okay, here we go. Medallion equipped. I guess I'll use my pistol rounds, I suppose. Brain tree. Brain. Oh! What? Was that Eileen? Despairing yet, Braintree? Are you okay? No, damn it. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Daddy? Where's Daddy? Oh God. Yeah, wow, Eileen's really not okay. Do they ask me if I'm okay? I don't I think Henry did anything strange, but they're not. I wonder if that has to do with them being possessed or just the location.
The, the way Braintree moved was so odd, like teleporting and making these strange noises. Yeah, all the ghosts, uh, like the, the boss ghosts, Cynthia Jasper and um, and Andrew DeSalvo, De yeah, and Braintree, they all behave very differently. <gasps> yeah, what's up here? Just a curiosity, too. Does this door work to this elevator? Oh, the elevator's not here, right. And there's no button to call it. <laughs> we got apes? Oh. Sorry, doggy. What the hell was that noise? Oh. That was a very strange noise. <gasps> I still desperately need a hole. Usually there's so many holes I only need, like, just a half of them at most. Most of the time I ignore them, but here I'm like, please give me a hole. What the fuck? A microphone? Is that why it was so loud? Is it is there like an ape messing around with a live mic? What's that? Pack of multicolored pencils or something? Oh, is that another golf club? It's been a while. It's been a long while. Okay, put away a bunch of stuff and then came back and ran over there to get the spade and revolver rounds. Let's also grab everything in the sports store. It's a three wood. It's been forever since I found another one of these. And there's also this. Cake candles here. That's weird. Colorful candles for putting on a birthday cake. Hmm. Considering the circumstances, I guess we're doing pretty good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, let's look on the bright side. Anything else in here that's new? Filled with volleyballs. Bunch of broken golf clubs. Okay, looks like that's it. Yeah, so let's check out this new weapon, huh? Spade. So it's a weapon, it's not for Eileen's for me. Uh, not an item for actually digging up anything. <laughs> Ordinary spade from a construction site, it looks like it would be an impressive weapon. That surprises me. Like, I don't know, I don't think of a spade as a particularly good weapon. It's not bad, it's got good reach. Uh, you got the blunt force aspect. They can sometimes be kinda sharp, but they're not like, blade sharp. I would think the rusty axe, even though it's rusty, would probably be better than anything that I've used. Even the pickaxe of despair. But uh, powerful, easy to handle. Looks like it would be an impressive weapon. I'm going to guess that this probably does the most damage out of everything I have, except for the axe of despair. I'm sure it does way more. But it sounds like it does more damage than the rusty axe. Let's try it out. See what the attacks are like. Hmm, pretty fast, actually. Yeah, just, just one fairly fast overhanded attack. Uh, looks like decent range. I can test the range out for sure in just a second. Let's actually do that. Back up to the point where we can 
Here it hit the counter. I feel like they do real hit detection on the weapons. Like, I feel like it actually calculates whether the weapon hits a surface during its animation. And let's see how that compares to the axe. Okay, so it's got longer range than the axe. Ooh, wow. Yeah, the axe actually has to like... Mm, I guess it's not just a hit detection. Daddy? Where's Daddy? Mm, I'm sorry about your possession. But yeah, this definitely isn't just a straight up hit detection during the animation, because that's touching the counter. And it's not making the noise. So, this actually has substantially more range. A little bit slower of an attack than this. Whack. Versus... Whack. Yeah, a little bit slower, but still pretty fast. Right, let's try the charge up. Uh, pretty fast charge up. Mmm. Oh, I like that. That's got a lot of range. Yeah, and it's got a little step forwards. That's one of the things that I liked most about the axe. The step forward really helped so much because you really want to initiate one of these attacks when you're out of the enemy's range of being able to attack you. So if it doesn't have a forwards movement, then you're probably just going to miss it. Yeah. Oh, the range isn't as impressive as I thought, actually. I have to be about this close to the wall for it to hit. Yeah. Which maybe isn't bad, maybe it's just the perspective. But let's see how that compares against the charged up axe. Yeah, axe takes quite a bit longer to charge up as well. Okay, well that just reset my position. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be significantly longer range. Yeah, so, hmm. I'm definitely going to try using this for a while. It probably does more damage than the axe. It's got a little bit slower of a fast attack, but still not bad. The charge up is a very nice attack type and is faster than the axe, but the range is significantly less. Yeah. But overall, it seems pretty damn good. Yeah. I'm really excited about this spade. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to see where we can go from this sporting goods shop. <laughs>